What's going on guys? It's Jimmy here. Okay, so I've seen some people talking about this in the comments about curfews going on here in the United States, actually in multiple different cities here. And I know you can't make this stuff up. So I wanted to talk about this here in this video. And I'm actually going to show you guys uh, it directly here on the screen. You're not going to believe how many cities have curfews going on here right now. And uh, it's actually an alarming trend here. And some might think this is a good thing. Some might think this is an, a, a bad thing. And uh, how much crime is actually going on here in the United States. Um, it's, it's pretty concerning. It's pretty concerning. I'm going to show you guys some of these headlines, some of these curfews going on here. And uh, we're going to discuss this here. In fact, let me just jump right in here and I'll show you some of these curfews. You can let me know your thoughts here on this and uh, we'll, we'll talk about it. Take a look. Okay, here we go. Here's the first one. Relaxed curfew enforcement prompts, prompts concerns in Baltimore City. Mayor Scott under scrutiny. Uh, this is from over the July 4th weekend. Okay, so here's the, the first one here is the people from this, uh, from Baltimore City. They're relaxing their curfew enforcement and the people are concerned that they're relaxing the curfew. So the people are concerned that the curfew is being relaxed a little bit and people are concerned that it's actually being relaxed. This is just the first one here, right? Newark police enforcing curfew on juveniles following recent car thefts in Newark. Police say 17 cars have been stolen this summer and seven juveniles have been taken into custody as they now enforce a curfew in Newark, New Jersey. Here's number two. That was number two. Here's number three. Milwaukee police will ramp up curfew enforcement in Milwaukee and including fines for parents. During the summer months, curfew hours are between 11 p.m. and 5 a.m. and apply to people under the age of 18. In Milwaukee, in D.C., citywide protests curfew was constitutional a court affirms very interesting here this was a citywide and a court has upheld it upheld it yeah okay next one on the jersey shore these 32 jersey shore towns have curfews in place. 32 towns. Yeah, so you can see this is pretty much happening. And again, this was just like the first few headlines that came up, that I brought up. This is a sampling. So you can see here, it looks like it's happening all over the place. Will your city, town, or state be next? And, uh, you know, we can look at some of these and say, hmm, uh, you know, it's interesting. And you look at this one here, a court actually upheld it and found that it was constitutional on a citywide one in Washington, D.C. Let's just examine this one, right? Let's just take this one, for example. Yeah, so Washington's mayor's Muriel Bowser's citywide curfew in the wake of what happened to George Floyd and the BLM movement was a constitutional restriction on speech and federal appellate, a federal appellate court said on Friday. The U.S. Court of District Appeals for the District of Columbia Circuit agreed with a lower court that the curfew was constitutionally valid because it was a facially neutral time and place and manner restriction. The curfew was implemented in response to vandalism 
and looting that occurred at the same time during, you know, what happened during those times, the court said. And said throughout our history, the people and groups that make up um, our fractitious pluralism have shown and spoken out. The First Amendment protects those rights. But it does not privilege expression irrespective of its timing, location, or mode, said the judge in the opinion. Our Constitution provides for ordered liberty, and thus they put in a curfew. Curfew. But you can see here, it, it's happening here all over the place for a variety of different reasons. Now also, in my research here, I also found this. Governor Greg Abbott, the Texas governor, signs a bill that outlaws juvenile curfew enforcement, saying here, curfews for minors will soon be a thing of the past in Texas. As Governor Greg Abbott on June 9th signed a House Bill 1819, which essentially takes power away from cities to create or enforce curfew ordinances. The, the new law will take effect September 1st. All local cities currently have ordinances, well, you know, the list of these cities here, ordinances enforcing curfews for minors defined as individuals 17 of age or younger. And, uh, you know, they have different, you know, guidelines for each specific city based on what's happening here. Um, but Texas governor has outlawed it. So, you know, I find this interesting because on one side of the story, we have the government, local governments, state governments, Stepping in and saying, you know, really, it's it's a matter of freedom here. Saying, no, you cannot leave your house for a matter of safety, a matter, of, and and you know, we we've seen some of this. I mean, this is kind of a matter. You know, we're seeing vandalism, stealing cars. You know, we've seen the BLM movement. You know, different things like that. When it's it, when it's a matter of stuff like that. On the other hand, we see things like the Texas governor saying, I'm going to outlaw it. I'm going to make it so this can never happen again in the future, no matter what happens. So uh, we, we might see, uh, you know, an incident where there's like a mass shooting or uh, something like maybe the BLM movement happens. Maybe something like that happens in Texas. Um you think of maybe like a Rodney King incident or, you know, something like that. You know, think of like the L.A. riots. Maybe if something like that were to happen in Texas. I mean, we did have, uh, you know, a couple of different incidences here in Texas here recently. You know, maybe you think about like Uvalde or, you know, something along those lines where you might have, you know, an active shooter on the loose or something along those lines. Or, you know, you think of, maybe you think of like something like Waco, Texas, or, you know, something like that. Um, the Texas governor is saying, no, we're not going to have a curfew. There's, it's just strictly going to be outlawed. Let me know your thoughts on this. Obviously, we're going to have a lot of different opinions on this. That's kind of uh, the goal of my channel is to, to be a realist and get people thinking about both sides of the equation. What are your thoughts on this? Yeah, pretty interesting. So let me know your thoughts here uh, in the comments. If you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe down below. Click the bell icon so you don't miss out on any new videos. But nonetheless, we have curfews going on here in our country, in all states and cities right now. Did you know about that? Yeah. Thanks for liking. Please share these videos so people know about this because it is happening. Click here to see the Fed's plan to crash the U.S. economy. Or you have 10 days before this happens. Click on one of those videos next. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.